Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to discuss what is RDD and how we can create RDD in Spark. So let's get started. RDD, that is Resilient Distributed Data Set, is a fundamental data structure of Spark. It is an immutable distributed collection of objects. Each data set in RDD is divided into logical partition, which may be computed on different nodes of the cluster. RDD can contain any type of Python, Java, or Scala object, including user-defined objects. RDD can be created using a predefined collection in your driver program or a data set in an external storage, like your local disk or HDFS. So, let's stop the theory over here and do some hands-on and try to create an RDD in Spark. As you can see, this is my Scala ID. I have already created a Maven project. So, I will right click on SRC and we will go to package. And now I will name the package as com.scala.tutorial. Now, again, right click on the package and go to other. Search for Scala object. Then provide your object name that is create RDD. Okay, so this is my Scala object. Now I will create a main function of this object. So def main under that it's an argument of string that is ARGS array Now I will be using the old entry point of Spark, that is Spark context. So to use Spark context, I need Spark corner. So let's create one. Well, Spark corner equals to new Spark corner. Dot set app name. I have set the app name as create RDD. Now. Set master which is localhost. You can change it to yarn if you are planning to run this code on the Hadoop cluster. Now I will create the Spark context object. So that is val sc equals to new Spark context and the Spark corner variable. Okay. Now I have created Spark corner and Spark context in my Scala code. So let's create a collection in my program. That is val data equals to array of integers. Now the data is of type array of integers. I will use this to create an RDD. To create an RDD out of an array, we have a function called paralyze. So I will write val data RDD equals to sc, that is the Spark context object dot parallelize and the collection name, that is data. Now you can see data RDD is of type RDD of integer. So we have created an RDD. Now let's fire a few functions on this RDD. So let's say I want first element of RDD. So the function is dot first. I will write it as print ln and the first element of RDD then data RDD dot first. Yeah, this will give me the first element of the RDD. Now let's say I want few more elements of RDD. So we have a function called take. So let's write val element equals to data RDD dot take. And we'll mention the number as 5. So we will be taking 5 elements from this RDD. As you can see, this element is of type array of integers. So to traverse an array, we have a for loop. For a of 
elements in the bracket I will just print that is print ln array element and we print as a okay now right click and go to run as and click on scala application As you can see, in my console, there are so many info messages. So, I will set the logger level. Logger and will select the log4j. Dot get logger. The class is org. Dot set level. Level is of error. So level dot error. Okay, right click and go to run as and click on Scala application. As you can see, data dot first has printed the first element that is 1. The rest that is 1 to 5 are the top 5 elements of an RDD which are printed by dot take function. So, as you can see, we have successfully created an RDD from a collection in my Scala code. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.